Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the 403 forbidden error on Nginx. Now, while there are many different ways that this error could happen, we're gonna go through a few of them in this video and show you exactly how to fix them. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. All right, as you can see at this IP address, this website here, we are seeing a 403 forbidden error, the infamous 403 forbidden error on our Nginx web server. What we're gonna do is log into our server via SSH, and that's actually what I had done prior to starting this video, as you can see here, and we are at the root of our, um, or I guess I should say our home directory here. So what we wanna do is go to the root of our website, which is at var www.html, and just take a look around, just so we know what we're working with. So there's a single file in here called home.php. Now let's see, let's let's compare what we're seeing here to our uh, configuration file for Nginx. So we can look at our configuration file in Nginx at etc Nginx sites available. And um, I just know that the, uh, there's and there's only one configuration file in here called default. So let's look at the default configuration file here. And let's just go through here. So we're listening on port 80 for IP uh, version four addresses, same thing for IP version six. Our server name is example.com. That doesn't really matter in this case. Our root, as we saw, was var www.html. Our index is looking for either a file called index.html or index.php, and we're giving them something called home.php. So that right there, the fact that the server cannot find an index file is the problem. So we have a couple different options. We can either rename home.php to index.php, or we can add home.php to this list, or get rid of this list and just have home.php here. So it, it really doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do, um, I think just to keep the standard straight for everybody, let's rename our home.php to index.php. So when the web server does go and look for that, it can find it. So let's go, we already are in our uh, var www HTML directory. Let's just rename this file with a move command. So home to index.php, enter. Okay, so now we have an index.php file in our root. Let's minimize this for now, refresh the page, and that 403 forbidden error is gone. Now, like I said, there are a couple different ways, actually a few different ways that um, you can have in a 403 forbidden error. That's just one of them. Another one has to do with permissions. So if we go back into our var www HTML directory and just do an ls-la to see all of our permissions here, we'll see that um, by default our this dot right here corresponds to var www HTML. That directory has execute permissions, but let's let's strip out those execute permissions and see what happens. So we can do that with chmod minus x for the execute at that var www.html. So if we do ls-la again, we'll see that um, the HTML directory does not have execute permissions. So if we go back into our website, refresh the page, we will see that same 403 forbidden error. So the point I'm trying to make here is that we wanna make sure that all of the files and all of the folders within our root of our website have the correct permissions. And you know, it's debatable slightly, but the recommended permissions for uh, directories are 755. And that's just a way to translate this string, which is maybe not familiar to a lot of people to um, uh, tr be go between basically this and a number. So 755, if we apply, if we find all directories underneath HTML and apply that permission scheme to it, that should do it for our entire website. And then the same thing for files. For files, you wanna have a permissions of 644 in general. Um, so we do that. And then if we do an ls-la again, we'll see that our HTML directory has the execute permissions again. So let's minimize that, refresh the page. That should take care of it for us, and it does. Guys, this is not an exclusive, extensive, comprehensive way to fix um, 403 forbidden errors, but it's, in my opinion, one of the most common ways, or these are the most common ways that you'll see a 403 forbidden error. So if you're still having problems, let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to help you out. Can't guarantee anything, but hopefully you found this video helpful um, as it exists. So uh, either way, 
let me know. Um, please like this video if you got some value out of it. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.